Hello, my hearties. I think you do. It's just me, Scotty McClure, live on TikTok, just for you. Quick lunchtime pop up to say hi to every single one of you. We'll call this one the one o'clock jump. How amazing to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Never scroll, never troll. Always stay with us as soon as you see Scotty McClure. Say, that's the one for you. Fantastic stuff. And welcome, welcome. Hashtag float I, first lord of the internet, of course. Nothing gets past me. Tuesday lunchtime. Time coming up to three minutes to one o'clock. And we'll be with you from one through until later in the afternoon. Tremendous. I like your badge. I thank you. Hi, dude. Hi, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo stands bar. How lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome back to Scotty McClue live on TikTok. This is your official entertainment and your official alternative entertainment, I say. So those of you that are going to watch the news, forget that. Come and join Scotty McClue live on TikTok just for you. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome, welcome. As soon as you come on, please follow and get on to the videos, the new TikTok videos, all uploaded just for your edification, enjoyment, education, and delight. There we are. Fantastic stuff. And uh, share this as soon as you can. Follow me as soon as you come on. That is the big one. And you're always welcome. What are you having for lunch? Lunch today is outstanding. We're going to have a little bit of scrambled egg. How very, very good for you, I say, because obviously I'm bodybuilding at the moment, so we're getting the proteins up there. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, do, Tim. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome from Scotty McClue. Can you hear me and see me as clear as a bell? I want you to tell. Simple as that. Now, we've also done a little wrap for you there. Yum, egg, very nice. Egg, very good for you. Very nice proteins, I say. Unless, of course, you're absolutely 100% vegan, as many people are today. The only problem with vegans, I think they're producing more greenhouse gases because of the methane element in their diet. Thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us, unknown. Welcome, welcome, I say. Thank you for sharing the live video. Very much appreciated. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning. How are you doing, Smitch? Lovely to have you with us. This is the place to be. Absolutely. Well, the news starts in a minute, so I'd rather everybody came to watch me on TikTok and got some banter for the lunch. Imagine if you were allergic to egg. Oh, it would ruin your life. Yes, indeed. A lot of people are. I remember a lady said she was with her father-in-law, and he was one of these old-fashioned people that they uh, didn't believe in people having any intolerances or anything like that at all. You know, they just thought they were fussy eaters. Anyway, he said to her, look, everybody loves it. She told I can't eat eggs. And he said, well, look, I made your little scrambled egg. Try some of it. She said, I can't eat eggs. I am intolerant of them. He said, look, I don't believe in all that rubbish. Anyway, she took a spoonful of the egg and then she completely regurgitated the lot all over him. I do hope nobody is having a late plate of wheat bangs or you're at your lunch. But that was what happened. And I think that old guy learned his lesson. So there we are. Who needs the news when you have my clue? Well, there's nothing on the news. I'll almost guarantee they'll start with the pandemic. So there you are. There's a disease from a tick that makes you allergic to meat. Lyme's disease, that will be, I think, J. Cass. But uh, I feel like she did the best. Yep, well, she did her best. And she's, you know, he was going on and going on. Wheat bangs, vintage Scotty. Yes, a late plate of wheat bangs. You don't want somebody telling these stories when it's lunchtime. But, you know, I remember sitting in a pub having a pork pie salad and a pint of beer. And there was an old boy with not a pick on him with a hat, a coat, a three-piece suit, white shirt, and the guard's tie. And he was having a black coffee and a few leaves of salad. And uh, I can remember somebody came in and put 10 pence, it was in those days, 10 pence in the jukebox. And on came Elvis, was, love me tender, love me true. And uh, he turns around, sorry, Poor, poor impersonation of Elvis, really. I'm the only man in the world that can't do Elvis. Anyway, uh, puts, 
Uh -huh. uh, puts that into the jukebox, right? And this old guy turns around and goes, what's that doing on? It's lunchtime. Who's sending me sunglasses? Beautiful people. Have you ever been down to the teddy bear's picnic? No, but if you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. Uh, especially in Sheffield. Send us the sunglasses, dinky doo. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Barbara, thank you for joining us. Lovely, lovely. When I say a surprise, Sheffield, I mean the views are stunning from the woods. There we are. Thank you for the sunglasses. Casp, that's very kind of you. Maya says, Maya or Mia? Can I say Maya? Haven't seen you in ages. Haven't seen you, Maya. You're some chanter, Scotty. Ryan Dunbar, how lovely to have you with us and dinky doo. Lunchtime with Scotty, the one o'clock jump. That's what we're doing here. Have you been to Largs? Have I been to Largs, Casp? No, like the back of my hand. There's a gorgeous sweetie shop when you come off the ferry. And I used to always pay them a visit for a quarter of Everton mints. Now, hi from the Isle of Mull. Hello to the Monarchs. How lovely to have you with us, Kamara. Ha'u, ha'chima maha, and welcome to all the Monarchs, I say. I've not been in a live of yours for a while. Love from Paisley, little big Joe. We love Paisley. My family gave the monks the land to build the abbey. What about that? I found out apparently I'm royal. So there you are. What about that? Descended from Walter Stewart, the first Stuart. How about that? There you go, guys. Share your live as soon as you possibly can. Yes, says Casp. You know the one? You just come off the ferry. You go across the road looking, of course, left, right, left, right, right again, right and left again, and left and right, and right and left again, and left and right. The Tufty Code goes on forever nowadays. The Green Cross Man. So it's the HRU McClue then. Oh, Ryan, without a shadow. I'm a Brisbane. Ah, Brisbane. Well, I was born in Brisbane Street. How about that, Casp? Did you do an early bird pop-up? I did this morning, unknown, and I thought you were on it. Or maybe it was your friend Wonky that was on it this morning. I don't know. Lahoub has joined us. Lahoub, I was just thinking about you the other day. Don't panic. Nothing personal. And I was thinking, what a great guy you are. Clever, clever man. And as I told you, Eamon de Valera was a professor of mathematics. Wow, I'm descended from William Wallace. Well, I've got freedom. You're a legend, Scotty. P15 Co, Psy Co. I was up the Glenifer Braes on Saturday evening at six o'clock and took a video. You'll see it on TikTok. We're live. Get everything on that TikTok, guys. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Is a surprise in the teddy bears picnic, Scotty McClue. Lunchtime pop up. La -da 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 <laughs> Do you know that in the theatre, uh, I was a theatre manager. And in the theatre, if fire was discovered, you wanted to get everyone out. The theatre organist, you would go to the centre stage and say, excuse me, is there a Mr. Sands in the audience? And the theatre organist would strike up the teddy bear's picnic because it saved people panicking. You threw open all the exits. And you threw open the, all the doors and everything. And then, da -la -da -ra -da 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 -ra, so people didn't panic and scream and run out and go under a bus. Oh, no, you weren't. Oh, yes, I was. He's behind you. Where? I don't see him. Whoa! All that stuff. Uh, fantastic. Dinky do. Callum's just joined us. Callum Duff, a warm welcome to Scotty McClure for the lunchtime pop-up. This is the big one. Switch off the news. Come and join Scotty McClure. This is where it's happening live on the media across the internet. This is the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Hashtag flow tie, first lord of the internet, Scotty McClure. We don't see him. Well, we have to do it again, would we? Yes. Uh, Scotty, can you give the friend, my friend Marky a shout out? He hasn't been around in a while. Marky, could you please come on here? We're giving you a shout out. Is it you and the painting behind you? It is, Casp. And Lord Wreath the Labrador, isn't he beautiful? Look at his wee face shining. Oh, we love him. Ah, bless him. 
There we are. He's at Rainbow Bridge playing with Lord Clyde, who left us about eight or nine weeks ago. Right. Um, have you all joined us, guys, as soon as you can? So shiny. Oh, he was shiny. And he, was, he wasn't fat or heavy. He was just a very, very big Labrador. But he adored getting his photo taken. And uh, what he would do was, as soon as you produced a camera, no phones in these days, camera, latterly digital camera, he would just sit. Dicky do, thank you, Scotty. Not at all. Our friend Marky is a ska tribute artist who loves performing live. Well, we need to have more from Marky. Afternoon, Scotty. Afternoon. We love you. Dinky do, such a good boy. Ah, oh, he was going, what side would you like? I'll hold it for you. Say, hold it there, boy. Fantastic. Amazing. Fantastic. Lovely. There we are. I, I, I keep saying fantastic because it was fantastic. You know, I have my trusty drink with me. Never miss a second of Scotty McClure. We'll call this one the one o'clock jump. You can't beat a good jump at one o'clock. I think we should call this lunch with Scotty. Lunch with Scotty or the one o'clock jump. We'll do a Gilbert and Sullivan. You know, they always had an alternative name for their opera. So what what was it? Um, Yeoman of the Guard was one, and that was, or the Merry Man and His Maid. Lovely stuff. Love the Yeoman of the Guard. Mantava, Mantava. Have I said it right? Mantava, lovely to have you. This is coming. Aha, umaha. Falchi, falchi, ki, da mini falchi, don TikTok. I guess Scotty McClough. Scotty McClough. Celtic or Rangers, go and see them both play. Make up your mind. I've, uh, they're both great teams, by the way. I have a friend called Punch. Whenever I have lunch with them, I call it Lunch with Punch. Well, you see, it's no show without Punch. So this might become Lunch with Punch. Hello again, my friend Scotty William Knox. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you. Would McClure ever send an autograph? Is that possible? I don't know how to do it, unknown, but yes, of course, I used to sign maybe up to a thousand things a day. Oh, we used to send these out, you see. We'd send these chaps out signed. There's one for you. So we'd send that out. We'd get it signed. Send it out. Scott A. McClure on Scott FM. Just for you, Dinky Do. That was the stuff. There we go. Have we changed a lot? I wonder. Wonderful stuff. Now, are you famous or something? Famous! Oh, two billion people have heard of Scotty McClue. 40 years in television and radio, national television and radio. Huge, huge record audiences. Hold the record for phone calls to a radio station phone in. 460,000 in one week. Wow. Still the same great face, I thank you. Give me McClure. We love it. Fantastic. Give us McClure. That was it. How do we order one? Casp, we haven't got one. I want one, says Wonky. There's another one sitting around somewhere. There was that used to be up in the station. You see, that was McClure up in the station. There we go. And can I tell you, I can offer you I look at that picture right now. Let's see how we do this. Oh, you can't really see it. The reflection in the glass is too great. Uh, I'll see if my grandma knows. Ask your grandma, say, Grandma, have you ever heard of Scotty McClure? Ask your mom and dad if they're about. Uh, that's what I was thinking about. Ha <laughs> ha. Can you get an envelope and sign it and post it? I'll pay the postage. No, 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 we wouldn't charge you the postage. Wonky pint, I'll tell you. I saw it. There we are. Ho, ho. Fantastic. You saw it there. You miss nothing, Casp. I'll tell you that. How fantastic is that? Can everybody follow Scotty McClure? If you're watching and you haven't followed, that, then it's like watching the BBC and not paying your license. Please follow, guys, as soon as you possibly can. If she says, no, I haven't heard of him, she's telling Porkis. Oh, she's telling you a whopper. There we are. Will the closet squeeze box fan come back? Steve, he adores the squeeze box. That's why he was protesting. 
You know when it's like somebody's giving you money when you've taken them somewhere for your petrol? You go, oh, no, no, no. Oh, please take it. No, 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 no. Take it. No, no. Okay, then. <laughs> so there we go. He's a, he's a closet. He's a closet money fan. Right. There's your details, guys. This is your job for the rest of your natural puff. You're watching Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, live on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Dinky do, follow, like, share this now, enjoy all the videos, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Now, nobody should wander off piste. Right? Have I said that the right way around? Dinky do, I agree, I would pay. No, not at all. Ah, nice. Do you like that one? Whatever. Scotty, my 17 years, my girlfriend of 17 years, just dump me for someone else. Right. She's not worth going out with now. She's changed. Her life has changed. She hasn't dumped you. She's got lured by somebody else. Nothing to do with lures. She hasn't dumped you, right? You've obviously had enough. So there you go. So give yourself a break. Do not beat yourself up. Do not say, what have I done wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Capiche? Right. What's the horse behind you? That's Pegasus. My father was a paratrooper. Yes, absolutely. More fish in the sea. Well, yes, I mean, maybe it's a bit raw for that one, but I understand what you mean. Uh, thanks, Scotty Dinky Doo. Martin, not at all. Lovely to have you with us and a big Dinky Doo to you, La. There we are. Lovely to have you. Listen. They'll be queuing up for you. She'll be doing her nut. All that sort of nonsense. There's more fish in the chippy. There's more chips in the chippy. I see. Absolutely. Uh, Scotty, what should I have for dinner? Well, Smitch, I don't know your diet. What kind of things do you like? And we'll get the world to help. There we are. I'm going to do a bowl of cereal as a cooking program. Uh, can I get a big dinky-doo? You can, Scotty, hi. Because the only reason I don't be on the telly nowadays every day is because I don't cook on the telly, you see. So I need to cook. So I'll do, I'll start off with a bowl of wheat bangs, how to make them. And I'll do it from getting out the bowl and the box. All right, yo. Uh, it's so hard, you just wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, good man, Scotty. Not at all. Lovely to have you with us. Six, eight, bin man. Six, eight, bin man. You're an absolute top, but I've just given my bin man a wave. Super guys. Uh, because uh, I wasn't sure if they were uh, lifting the gray or the brown. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you just have to come into your own life. Yes, indeed, I understand. Uh, good man, Scotty. Can I get a big dinky do? Maybe that girl's done you a massive favor. Look upon the positives. William Wallace. Yes, what about him? I'll tell you a story about William Wallace. They hanged, drew, and quartered that poor soul. Chopped his head off and stuck it on a spike for no reason. And he said to them, okay, I get it. You're upset. Good Scottish answer. There we are. Do you like the... Um, Make it yourself boxes. I'll not advertise one key bit. I see what you mean. The do it yourselves. Uh, porridge is the best meal. I once saw a, an advert that said donkey manure for sale. Do your own. <laughs> see what I just did there? True. Why aren't you on the BBC, Scotty? I don't know. There's absolutely no reason I'm not on the BBC because uh, the BBC would be ideal for Scotty McClue uh, because it's got a great technical setup. I would bring them a huge audience. I would put them back on track. I would stop people defunding them and not paying the license fee. You know, I would get them huge, huge, huge audiences and column inches. But I don't know what the BBC's problem is, really, uh, and why I'm not on the BBC. I should be. There's no reason why not. I once went along to talk to them about it, and they were very, very excited. 
And a very senior person said, Scotty, I want you on our channel. I said, right, let's go for it. And then they had to run it past some other guy. And we never heard any more. And then another thing I have to tell you, the BBC did an online exam you were to do on a Saturday afternoon. I did it and it suddenly disappeared afterwards. It just disappeared magically. Never saw it again. Anyway, I got a phone call about a week later from London, from the BBC in London, asking if that was Scott. I said, yes, yes, it's me. He said, we got the results from your online examination. I said, were they okay? He said, okay, they were, they were outstanding, the best we've ever seen. Listen, you don't have to do a thing. We will be in touch with you about a job. Program making experienced. I said, right, thank you. We'll be in touch very soon. Just you sit back and leave it all to us. So I sat back, never, ever, ever, ever heard a peep. What about that? And in 1980, I auditioned for the BBC in Scotland. You can see it there. Quite old-fashioned newscasting, sort of. This is the BBC. Good afternoon. Here is the news. So it was that sort of stuff. And I never, ever heard back from them. Just crazy stuff. There we are. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Porridge is the best meal. Do you know that, Casp, Glasgow University used to have a Monday holiday in their calendar. I don't know if they still do. And it was known as Meal Monday because the students all went home for another bag of oatmeal. Is that not wow? Fantastic. I think we would love it, Smithy, yes, on the BBC. And I know the people would love it. Scotty, are you betrothed? Rose, don't be ridiculous. Who would have me? I've asked plenty of people, mind you. Uh, Scotty, how are you? There we are. Up thy, up thy as well, Liam. Lovely to have you with us. Do you like your corner store? I adore, adore my corner store. Beautiful people selling beautiful things. Uh, you'll know yourself better after the pain, says Casp. Uh, Casp, you're so wise. Lol, says Casp. Scotia, hello, Arvo legend. Lovely to have you with us. Tap your screens, guys. Tap your screens. Screen your taps. Do you know I was an outstanding tap dancer until my accident? Amazing. There we are, absolutely outstanding tap dancer, and then the accident. Still want to get signed, Scotty, a poster we beg, unknown, wanted to get your poster. Seriously, I love porridge. Casp, very good for your oats. You will be a mealy girl rather than a beefy girl. Yes, you look mealy, which is uh, quite nice, quite a nice look nowadays, I tell you. Uh, yes, yes, we need you to do it, yes. A BBC journalist wrote a story about you years ago. Unknown how amazing. So you're a top journal. You know these things. You're finding out about Scotty McClue. Uh, who have we got? I love the Reese, says Wonky. Uh, do you think they are value for the fee? What's the fee now? £157. I just paid my first instalment last week. Um, well, they took it. Um Direct debit. Uh, yes, interesting. I, I think they are actually probably worth it. But not if you've got other channels. I mean, if everybody's just watching Scotty O'Clean TikTok, why would you give 150 quid away? Uh, so there we go. Say hello to Darren. He's a big fan of yours. Darren Coyle, dinky-doo. I thank you, 68. Bin man, you top man. Captain Sparrow. Dinky do everybody, welcome to Scotty McClue. Now, here's a wee troll. Uh, Samuel Simpson, dad, is that you? Now, this is the kind of thing you will probably troll everybody's live with. Dad, is that you? I want you, I'm going to give you a chance here. Normally, you would just be toasted and sent straight doing this one. Doing this one, a lifetime ban. But I'm going to give you a chance to join us, to join in the intelligent chat, to grow up a little bit. Yes. Uh, so there we are. So Samuel Simpson, guys, is going to stay with us. He should be doing this morning, but he's going to stay with us 
and we're going to see if he grows up and learns. Okay, Sam. Scotty, my boy man. Scotty, boy, my man. How's things today? Beachy, beachy. Think you do. We are itchy, peachy, beachy, beachy. I'll tell you that for nothing. There we are. Let's not put stock in BBC. Yes, I see what you mean, Cass. Yes, they propped up him. They did. Absolutely. Scotty is not a dad as such. He's the father of feminism. Hashtag foff. There we are. Scotty, beam me back. Shot as Samuel, you're fine now. You're okay. We're going to keep you here because we think you're a good guy. Right? Samuel's going to stay and mature, guys. Good afternoon, Scotty. Sending hugs and kisses. Best buddy. Wolf plays. You are so beautiful. Thank you. So there we are. Samuel's staying with us and he's okay. Cheers for reminding me. Not at all, Cass. The northwest of England is missing you, sir. Edge. I am missing the northwest of England. Why can an organization, ITV, GB News, the BBC, just put Scotty McClue on live across the whole network? I mean, they know I can be trusted. I've sat in front of an open mic across the whole of the ITV network before. So that's pretty good, isn't it? That's a good test. There we are. What accidents is Casp? What what about Casp? You're worth a tap, Scotty. Oh, the tap dancing. No, I was a real top tap dancer, very, very nimble. And then I fell into the sink. Right, dinky do everybody. Love you, Scotty. I thank you, Wolf Plays. I know the Mars Morgan book goes into depth about you. I believe because uh, Big John phoned one night and he was he was great fun in the phone. He Tim, it's me. I says, Tim, how are you? And he said, uh, Tim, I'm writing a book. I said, you're writing a book? I said, oh, that'll be good. He said, oh, stop, stop all that nonsense, Tim. I was about the only man who used to rip the mince out of my big chump, and he loved it. And I said, so what about it? He said, I want to put you in it. I said, well, put me in it. So he said, um, you know, right, okay. I'll put, I've, I've put a bit, I'll read it to you. I said, I had the, met this mate of mine who was a bit down in his luck. I said, stop, forget that. I was the managing director of a radio station. I had just gone to complete my teacher training. No down on any luck. He goes, oh, sorry, man. Thought, thought you were. I said, no, 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 no. Anyway, he read it to me. I said, listen, that's fine. Just publish it. And there's a chapter in his book, Team at Sony Radio, called Dinky Do. There well, the only thing he got wrong, he said, I thought Scotty was good for 10 years. Scotty is in his 30th year now. So we salute the big man and we say, Requiem Scouted Patchy Big John, my dear, dear friend. There we are. Casp says 150 a week. What's 150 a week, Casp? Tell me more. There we are. No, 150 a year. Television license, Casp, come on. You are a sharp, sharp cookie. You are one bright lady, one smart madam. There are hello, Scotty, I miss seeing you. I hope you're keeping well. Very well, yours a dee. Lovely to have you with us, yours a dee. Uh, one last strike to redeem yourself. Yeah, let's see how he gets on. Opinions on the monarchy. The monarchy is our greatest asset ever. Every half-witted idiot that says they're costing us money, that calls them parasitical, not understanding the word, all these things, is a complete idiot, totally uninformed of how this country works. Scotland has had a monarchy for 2,347 years. The ancestors of the ancient Celtic kings, Re, capital R, I. Yes, Rex, Latin. So we've got that royal Rex, Le Roi in France, although they've sadly failed themselves. So the monarchy, what does the monarchy do for us? Brings us in two billion quid direct to the treasury to feed the homeless, if the politicians would do it. Um, tourism. Tourism in this country is worth 210 billion pounds. 
Trade. We don't even know how much trade the monarchy brings in. Massive. The Queen's just paid £98 million in tax to us, the poor people. She gives us 75% of her income to us, the poor people, to feed the homeless and to feed the hungry and to feed the children, if the government would do it, right? She has been an outstanding public servant for 70 years. She still does a full day's work. What else can I tell you about this incredible institution? It's Scottish. Scotland took over the English crown in 1603. The Queen is our sovereign lady in Scotland and the head of state for Scotland. She has graciously granted the people parliamentary sovereignty. She retains ultimate sovereignty. So there's some opinions on the monarchy, plus it's self-financing. Her Majesty's office brings in 20 million quid through the Duchy of Lancaster. The Prince of Wales, the heir to the throne, brings in 20 million quid through the Duchy of Cornwall, and that finances all the office, the cars, the houses, the lot. Most of the palaces are state assets and are ours. Buckingham Palace was bought for five grand. What a buy that was. So there's a wee bit about the monarchy for you guys. Are you Irish? Um, all of us are Irish to a greater or lesser extent. I can tell you that. It seems like you should be in a Scottish tower. I'm in McClue Towers. Tremendous stop it for dinky do beachy beachy itchy peachy. What color are your eyes? Bright blue. Can you see them blue? There we are. What do we got here? Air Dancer, thank you, Casp, for sending me a beautiful gift. There are gorgeous, gorgeous people, all of you, on TikTok Live. Apart from the silly wee daft trolls who are just not mature enough to handle the stream, Scotty McClue, hashtag floaty, first lord of the internet, is the one for you, and you are the ones for me. This is outstanding. Have you ever heard of Devon Blue? Yes. Are we not talking sheep or cattle? Uh, where are you working now, Scotty? Johnny, information, education, and entertainment. I advise very, very senior people on the media. There we go. And I consult. Uh, you sound like Tyson Fury. What a lovely thing to say. Thank you. But I don't box. There are, ooh, there we are. Follow us as soon as you come on. Luke's followed us. Luke, you are an absolute top person. Who's watching without following? Scotty, it's always a pleasure to see you. You bring a smile to my face when I come across your live. I am the boss, all right. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. We never scroll and we never troll. Never scroll past Scotty McClue. You'll miss a moment of life, and that's not good for you. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Aaron. Can we get a wee lunchtime tune in the box, Scotty boy? Beachy, beachy. I'll give you a wee lunchtime tune just for you, Dinky Doo. Here we are. Here is the box. Right. What would you like? What about Oginai Wera Berens here? That's what we'll do for you. A nice wee jolly one. The box. <laughs>
guys, how amazing is that? Dinky do from Scotty McClure. We launch time, chin in the box, the one o'clock jump. Scotty, my man, who would win in a punch up? Winston Churchill or Joseph Stalin? Stalin, I think, was quite a big guy, was he not? But Churchill, you see, had been to English public school. He went to um, to Harrow. So he may have learned Marquess of Queensbury rules. So he might actually have uh, stuck one right on Big Joe's neb, you know, giving him a good bloody nose for uh, for, for cheeking up. So who, who knows? It's amazing. Um, or, of course, he might just have pulled out his Webley and uh, and gone pop, pop, pop. But in actual fact, Churchill and Josef Stalin got on very well. They did a bit of drinking together. And, I, and Churchill could handle his bevy, but he was quite pashed the next day after a good late night session with Big Joe on the vodka. So there you are. So there's a wee story. There's a wee insider story for you. McClue knows best. I won't tell you who tells me these stories. Uh, it's my birthday. I love your content. Can you say? Uh, no. No, MX Hughes. You're trolling. And that's a very, 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 very bad thing to do, is to troll Scotty McClue. So what shall we do with MX Hughes, guys? Shall we send him doing the swanny? Yes, I think what he's put here is quite naughty. He's a cheeky fellow. So, right, MX Hughes is leaving us, guys, forever. A lifetime ban. Are we ready? We're seeing NX Hughes doing the swanny. He's toast. Here we go. After three. Three. Woo! Here he goes, look, way. Can you see it, guys, when I send somebody down the Swanee? Tell us if you can see it. Hello again, Scotty Dinky Doo. End of MX Hughes. We don't like any of that uh, low life trolling stuff on here. You never troll and you never scroll. Well said, Scotty. There you go, isn't he? Um, are you Irish? Well, Hunter, everyone's Irish to a greater or lesser extent. Yes, uh, fantastic. I'm sorry, man. Not at all. He's gone. Hello, you impressive man, Dinky Doo. How was the... What's that when Aiden... How was the brothel today? I, I'm not eating soup at the moment. That's for the winter. We have the soup. So there we are. Absolutely. But sometimes we'll have the steak pie. So you could ask, how was the steak pie today? Afternoon, Scotty Dinky Doo. So there we are. Hunter says, TikTok's not for you, old man. No, it's not for him, Hunter. He's gone. So there we are. Doing the swanny. Hunter's telling himself he shouldn't be on here. There's too many youngsters on it for him. You should go and drink coffee with some old fellas. Uh, no, 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 no. I will when I'm older, Hunter. When I'm your age, I'll look at drinking coffee with old fellas. Until then, I will stay young. Fantastic. Thank you, dude. Oh, I see, old chap. Dino. Sorry, man, did I upset you? No, I don't think so, Hunter. Why would you upset me? You're just an old guy. You're wanting a bit of company. You're lonely. You've come on to a young person's TikTok. We don't mind. You're welcome. Uh, sorry, man, was kidding. No, no, man, you're okay. Listen, old guys can kid. You are awesome, man. I want to be rich. Well, get yourself TikToking. So how long have you been live streaming? Uh, just about uh, 35 minutes. Uh, we come on just before one o'clock. So what do we got here? Good lad. Uh, play when you march into battle. Oh, right, Dino. An advance. What about the Battle of the Somme? The umber die 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 Fantastic. Top stuff. What about that? Wow. How are you, Scotty? We're great. DBC. Lovely to have you with us. Don't the swanny with that one, Ricky. Block the trolls. Yep, you never scroll. I reported him. Good man, Casp. I think so as well. 
We can't see it. No, what can't you see? You're cheating me up no end, Scotty. Thank you, thank you. Karen, you deserve to be the happiest person in the world. Hello, Scotty, dinky you do. Yeah, absolutely, poor hunter. Well, he's just a poor soul hunter, gets so sad. Love, poor old hunter. Right, Scotty boy, we lunchtime tune back to the graft for me. Can you play waltzing Matilda? Uh, so there we are. There we are. Inya pants. Oh, Inya. What we're going to do with Inya? Inya's leaving us, guys. Gone, gone, gone. Don't that swanny. There we are. Hello there. When you send someone doing the swanny, we can't see it. You don't see a wee purple line go across the top of your screen. No? Oh, what a shame. I wonder when you said we can't see it, what you meant. Yes. Um, I don't know if I could play Waltzing Matilda. I'd need to practice it. <laughs> I could give you it on the piano. Right, fantastic stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. No, 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 that's only you. Ah, now that's a shame because I would love you to see them going doing the swanny. I had the impression you could all see it. What a shame. Can you see all the script going up and down? Can you see all that? Yes. Uh, has everybody got the chat? Um, no, no. Uh, it's very satisfying when you say you're sending someone doom the swanny. Casp, they've got to go. We cannot have trolling on a top TikTok live because it would reduce the quality. And these are just poor wee souls who are not mature enough to handle a top stream. You know, so they shouldn't be on here. Simple. It's very satisfying. Yes, indeed, I agree. I agree. Absolutely, Casp. Don't have the idiots on. Too many idiots in the world dictating what everybody should do. Yes, the majority decide, not the minority. So trolls, boom, finished. Oot, 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 oot. Oot, oot, oot with the trolls. Been great listening to Scotty. I have to go take care of a good day. Yous, dee. Have a beautiful day. Everybody's got to get back to work, of course. I'll need to get on myself, but it's lovely to be with you all. And I think we should do as many pop-ups as you like. Now, there's stacks and stacks of TikTok videos if you tap the left. I'll bet you none of you have followed me during this lunch. You've gone, I'll just watch them, but I'll no bother following. Do follow because it makes a huge difference. And like every single one of the videos, please. There we are. What's up? Oh, General Sup. Right, here's a sup, guys. A sup. Uh, Cass says, Scotty, I'm going to head off to bed. I don't want to miss another Scotty live. Cass, tap the bell. Set your notifications. It'll let you know. And you can come and join us because we love you on here. You are a quality addition to the team. Tremendous stuff. A sup means a sip or a drink. So what's up? Okay, what's up? Ah, that's lovely. There we are. Have a beautiful sleep, Casp. Dinky do. Where are you from? Are you from the United States? What's the secret brew, Scotty? This is a very large water. Imagine that measure in a pub. Woo! Do you want ice? Never have ice because it fills up the glass. Say no, no. Just fill it up with drink. Thank you. Can we see you boogie? I can boogie. Boogie woogie. No problem at all. Now, who have we got here? Here's fake Jehovah. Fake Jehovah's going to do the swanny guys for trolling. Bye bye, fake Jehovah. Bye bye now. Woo! Doing the swanny. Tremendous. That's what you do with these idiots. I'm with you on the ice. No ice, thank you. No, no, just fill it up. Doing the swanny with fake Jehovah. We'll go for the real McCoy. That's what it's all about. Have you tapped your screens, guys? Tap, 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 tap. Yes, very important to tap your screens. Tap your screens. That's it. Right, I need to dash, guys. It's been beautiful being with you again. Thank you so much. Get all over TikTok. Share every single one of the TikTok videos. Watch every one of them. Like every one of them. Follow us as soon as you come on. I think Hunter wanted to troll, but stopped trying to take part, to try and take part in an intelligent conversation. Yes, I think Hunter just panicked. 
Uh, are you partial to Tibble Scotty? Is that a daft question? Daft question, Philip. I don't drink alcohol for the last seven years for no reason apart from the fact I want to drive night or day. There we are, very, very busy man, and I need to be getting on with these things. Are you in Scotland? I'm in Scotland at the moment, Samantha. Samantha Jane, lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Lots of visitors to the Swanee today. Oh, they'll be swimming about. They can either stink or swim when they get into the Swanee. That's what I say. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Walk with nature down the Dingley Dell. I'm the same, says Philip. Absolutely. Dinky Doo, sir. Where's your favourite place in Scotland? All of it. TikTok Live with Scotty McClue is everybody's favourite place at the moment. I like your accent. Kind of red. I can. I like yours. Thank you. Goodbye, Scotty Dinky Doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vital thing. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. How amazing is that? Dinky do. A vital thing. Goodbye, everybody. Dinky do. Have a lovely afternoon. Have a lovely evening. A lovely morning. Depending on where you're watching. Scotty McClue live on TikTok. And dinky do. ta -ra -las. Enjoy your day, everybody. I love you guys. You're beautiful. Get following. <laughs>